Uh, hi uh, friends today let's see how a differential actually works so uh, we have uh, uh, the gears or the components inside a differential over here so let's identify the components so this is the pinion uh, over here this is the pinion uh, from which uh, we are getting the drive from the engine that means the drive from the engine um, reaches the gearbox and it uh, travels uh, through the propeller shaft and reaches uh, this pinion and this uh, pinion is connected towards the crown wheel over here so this uh, big wheel with gears uh, this is the crown wheel so actually the power produced by the engine uh, is transmitted to the through the gearbox and that finally reaches the propeller shaft and it uh, ends uh, on the pinion and this pinion as it rotates you can see the pinion over here the pinion will rotate and this uh, rotation of this pinion will transmit its uh, torque uh, towards the crown wheel over here so that will result uh, this crown wheel to actually rotate so you can see the crown wheel rotating okay when the pinion gives a drive towards the uh, crown wheel the crown wheel actually rotates uh, so that's uh, how the drive is raising the differential and uh, as the crown wheel rotates this drive is transmitted from uh, the crown wheel uh, through these star gears and it reaches the sun gear and the sun gear is connected towards the axle shaft you can see uh, the axle shaft over here so this is the axle shaft you can see uh, this getting rotated so actually uh, currently we are showing the reverse direction so uh, towards the end of the axle shaft that means towards the end actually the wheel is getting mounted towards the end uh, with some other mechanism uh, so actually what happens is that the pinion which will give drive uh, towards the crown wheel which result in the crown wheel to rotate and this crown wheel uh, will transmit its drive through uh, these star gears towards this sun gear and uh, that drive is reflected on the axle shaft uh, which is transmitted towards uh, uh, the rear wheels so that's how actually a differential is actually working so let's do its rules when the tires are rotating you can see uh, the sun gear is rotating and inside you can see the star gears are also uh, rotating inside on the other side of uh, this crown wheel we have another uh, uh, star gear or uh, sun gear is also mounted so let's uh, remove uh, the axle shaft first so we have removed uh, the axle shaft uh, from the unit so what uh, is left behind we can have uh, the uh, sun gear over here so the axle shaft is connected uh, through these grooves towards the sun gear so let's remove uh, the sun gear so this is the sun gear replacing it here then we can see uh, the star gears four uh, star gears are there so let's remove uh, the star gear set so we have removed the star gear set on the other side we can see an another sun gear so this sun gear is also connected uh, towards the uh, other wheel uh, through another axle shaft that means one axle shaft will be coming this direction will be connected towards one rear tire and the other axle shaft will go towards opposite direction and which will be connecting towards the uh, next uh, uh, rear tire so that's how actually it works so uh, let's see the star uh, gears this can be uh, dismantled like this a simple mechanism so now uh, so let's uh, actually keep it back so this is how it's connected through these shafts and uh, the star gears will be inserted through these shafts uh, like this in the uh, four directions so that's how uh, it is mounted so let's remove uh, the star gears and this is the another sun gear okay and this is the crown wheel so uh, these are the components inside an axle actually so uh, let's identify the main components once again so we have uh, the pinion over here which is giving a drive towards the differential that means the drive from the engine reaches the propeller shaft and reaches the pinion which results this pinion uh, to rotate and this rotation uh, reaches uh, the crown uh, wheel actually because the pinion is connected like this towards the crown wheel so it will result in the crown wheel to rotate and as the crown wheel rotates uh, we have uh, the sun gears uh, here so we will be having the sun gears or, or star gears over here actually so the star gears and uh, towards the star gears uh, this uh, sun gears will be connected like this so 
uh, the sun gears will be connected like this and uh, towards this groove the axle shaft will be coming and will be taking away the drive towards the rear wheels so these are the internal components of a differential and i hope uh, you got an idea about the internal components of a differential and uh, how it actually uh, works thanks for listening